CustomTactiles.com here, and the knife I'm reviewing today is the A.G. Russell Achias. Um, Achias is Latin for edge or sharpness, and uh, that's the reason why A.G. Russell chose the name when they developed what they are calling the ultimate folder. Um, essentially what they did was they took apart uh, some of the the most recognized uh, names and knives, such as the Sebenza and uh, the Dozier D2 Steel blades and and um, they basically designed this knife um, by using those those other knives as the framework um, they've obviously improved um, the designs a little bit uh, at least what they feel is improvements such as the hinder style uh, blade stop uh, locking bar stop there um, deeper pocket clip ZDP 189 steel and uh, a few other features um, Let's talk a little bit about the the size. Um, the the size of the Achias is is very similar to the large Sebenza, um, with the blade measuring just over three and a half inches and a total length of just over eight and one eighth inch. Uh, the blade is a little bit differently ground than than the Sebenza. It's uh, it's got a full flat grind, um, and the ZDP one eighty. 189 steel is really really hard and extremely sharp uh, Rockwell hardness ranges between 64 and 66 HRC which is which is typical of ZDP so uh, this blade shouldn't require too often sharpening and it does cut really really well um, more of a slicer the blade is thinner um, than some other knives out there um, the uh, the handles is is pretty plain on this one. It's got a huge stop pin, as you can see there. Um, very average size pivot, similar to the Spenza, and only one other screw, uh, one other blade, uh, spacing screw here in the back. Um, so essentially, the knife is held together by these two screws here, and then a stop pin. Very basic construction. Um, the hinder locking bar, lock, lock bar stabilizer is a pretty cool feature. It doesn't have hinder's name on it, so I'm assuming that either they chose not to put his name on it, or they just didn't uh, didn't license it from him, and rather just stuck their own lock bar on there. I, I, I'm not aware of whether or not the hinder actually patented it, or, or if it could be patented. So that's something to think about. Um, it is a it is a, a integral locking frame lock here, and so you can see the the sort of recess here. Um, it actually leaves. It's actually quite thin. Let me zoom up to it. It's sort of a funny thing that people talk about. Sometimes they talk about how frame locks are are so much thicker, but when you look at the thinness here on this one, it's especially noticeable. It is actually thinner than most liner locks at the thinnest point of the locking bar, which means that I guess presumably you should be able to bend this locking bar to shape easier. Um, but it still gives you the the confidence when you're gripping down on it because the locking bar is not going to move in that case. I like the the plunge grind on this one. It just sort of sort of sweeps down, similar to the way Dozier does them, or or, or uh, some of the other makers out there like Walter Brand. Um, this one is manufactured uh, by Kershaw, actually, out of uh, out of the states. Here, they import the ZDP from Japan, and uh, they they manufacture it here in the state, or rather in the states. Um, one of the the things I noticed, Dark Child, in Dark Child's video review, is that he's able to flick the knife open with his thumb every single time. And I can do that, but I find, to be quite honest, that I have to dig my nails into the into the uh, the thumb studs, which are actually quite grippy, and they they start to scratch up your nail quite a bit. So I, if you don't mind that, then flicking it out every time is okay. But I find generally speaking, it, it is while it's smoother than a lot of the knives out there on the market, and it feels almost like there's IKBS in it. It's not ridiculously smooth that time I kind of missed it but uh, it's funny because I was watching his review and I was thinking hey how come mine doesn't do that and after a few shots I realized that if I'd get in there with my 
my thumbnail, I can flick it open. So, some of my observations. The pocket clip on this one, it feels, while it's, it's a nice deep, deep pocket clip, like you can drop it in and you won't see the top of your knife, it, uh, it does not seem to match the knife as well as I would like it to. It, it sort of matches the blade, both shiny, but I, I would have liked to see it um, in bead blasted titanium. Um, it's nice that it's reversible doesn't go over to the left side but being that it's a liner lock um, probably doesn't need to and not much else to say the lock bar goes over a little bit further than most and I, I believe this is a this is a fairly standard length of travel for the lock bar on the Shias folder um, it does have a little bit of stick to it so it inspires some confidence I think Kershaw manufactures a nice blade um, looking at a lot of their other stuff they, they definitely have the ability to, to to manufacture something of a very high caliber and the Achias is definitely up there quite possibly one of the, the most well made Kershaw folders even though it's uh, made under the AG Russell name but uh, I, kudos to Kershaw for, for building such a well-made knife. And A.G. Russell for designing it. So I hope you guys enjoy the review.